This is the video to review extended simple CMS module for XCard 5. This module expands the default menus functionality and allows you to build multi-level drop-down menus in the primary menu and multi-column menus in the footer. Let's see how it works. Make sure the module is enabled. Go to Content – Menus. With this module enabled, a submenu column appears in the standard menus settings page. For the sake of example, let's add a Toys category to the Categories section in the primary menu. For this purpose, I click on the link showing the number of submenus for the category menu. Click on the New Item button. In the open page, specify the item name – Toys in my case – and the link. As you can read in this help tip, for the link you can specify either an absolute path or a relative one. An absolute path should be specified for external links. As for pages within your store, it's recommended to use a relative path, so I take just this part of the link and paste it into the field here. Even if the link is not specified, the menu item will still be visible in the storefront but not clickable. Specify who should see the submenu item. Click Save Changes. An item has been added. By dragging and dropping, you can set the order of the items in the menu. And let's also add a sublevel to the Toys submenu. The procedure is the same. New item, name, link, and who should see the submenu item. Click Save Changes. The module allows you to add a sublevel to this sublevel as well, but we'll stop here and check the menu in the storefront. Hover a mouse over the category section. Toys category has been added as a submenu item, which also has a submenu in its turn. As for footer or submenu items, the process of adding those is almost the same. Go to Content, Menus, Footer and Menu tab. Root items here correspond to the column headings, so no links are specified for them. If you specify links for root items, they will look just like first menu items in each column. To start a new column, click on the New Item button. To add an item to one of the existing columns, click on the link representing the number of submenu items for the column. New Item and fill in the fields accordingly. Submenu items here can have their own sublevels as well. Thanks for watching.